Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Roblox thumbnail for completely free without Blender. Now please know that this tutorial is actually building off my previous one that you guys can go check out, but basically this video is just the section of the old video. Anyways, the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio, which you guys probably have um, done if you watched the other video. So if you haven't, then you guys can go check that out, or you can just watch this part of the video because it's kind of the same thing. Alright, so once you have opened up Roblox Studio, you can just uh, open up the base plate, the default base plate. It doesn't really matter to me. All right, it took a second to load in, but there we go. We are now in the Roblox Studio. All right, guys, so we're actually in the base plate, but before we can do anything, you guys need to make sure you have the load character plugin installed and the moon animator plugin installed. Those are also linked on my website if you guys don't already have them installed. All right, so once you guys have done that, click load character and type in noob master grifter or whatever your username is. You can spawn them at R15 or R6. Uh, either one works because... Uh, R15 just gives you more bendability and there are more joints, basically. Alright, so once you guys have done that, you guys are going to click on the moon animator. Click moon animator. Drag this over here. File, new animation. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it that. Then, you guys are going to want to click on this plus button. Click on the person that you're animating, which in this case would be him. And then click, okay. So once you guys have done that, you have all of these different options to kind of move, edit, and rotate. So, now you're just going to kind of want to position your character however you want. Um, see, you can select different joints like that. Uh, you'll get better and better at positioning. I'm not that great. I'm okay. So yeah, this is what our, our uh, little positioning looks like. Uh, you guys can spend a lot more time doing this, but I just want to do this pretty fast. And the next thing that you guys are going to need to do is actually take a screenshot of your guy. So let's just do Control Shift S, and we'll just go like this. Now, the closer you get, you're taking, let me, the closer you get to him while you're taking your screenshot, the higher resolution it will be. The next thing that you guys are want to do is go to remove.bg slash upload. Then you guys are just gonna want to paste your picture in there. It will remove. It's basically gonna remove the background for you. So there we go. Now I got this guy. Now you guys can click copy image, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually go to photo PO. So we're going to create a new project, we're going to make sure it's one, uh, 1280 by 720, and then click create. Now this is actually pretty much where um, I leave off after this part of the video in my other video, so if you guys want to go check that out, I definitely recommend doing that. But real quick, I'm going to just show you some text strokes that you can use on your character, uh, just to kind of make them look cool, I guess. So first thing you can do is, we need to go into full screen. First thing you guys want to do is right click your character, click blending options, drag this over here. So you guys can turn on bevel and emboss. Um, ah, I'm so stupid. Anyways, click this and then click contour. Then you guys can also add a stroke, and there we go. It looks kind of weird. You guys can change like the stroke down to one if you want. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but that's actually what a lot of YouTubers do. Yeah, but guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure to go follow the rest of the other tutorial. This is just a simple little fix for not having Blender or not being able to actually render. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.